Hey Forever Family, it's Michael. Welcome back to another night of hope within the storm. We're glad you're here and as just as a reminder, go ahead and click like and share so many other people can hear the words of Jesus tonight. Let's kick it over to Juiza. She takes us into our second message tonight of hope within the storm. Good evening, everyone. My name is Juiza. I'm an intern pastor here at the Keene English Church. And today I want to talk to you about the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So yesterday we figured out that Jesus was more man than superhero. But today I want to talk about how he was so, so much more. You know how in comics or superhero movies, if or when the superhero dies, they somehow find a way to bring them back? You know, they, they find a potion or a certain pit or, you know, they didn't actually die. It was their evil twin brother or something. They always have some kind of trick in order to bring the heroes back. But for Jesus, he didn't have any kind of trick. When he died he died. And when he came back, he came back for real. Jesus' death was so powerful and so real. Even the people who put him on the cross, who hung him, knew who he was and what had happened. In Matthew 27, 54, when the centurion and those who were with him keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place. They were filled with awe and said, truly this was the Son of God. Was. Now that's, that's a very important word in that sentence, was. Because that was means that he really did die. I mean, they could have said, this is the Son of God. I mean, they were looking at him. They said was because they saw him die. Everyone saw him die. But the thing, the wonderful thing about that little was, is that it wasn't permanent. Just like his crucifixion was powerful, so was his resurrection. Luke 24, 6 through 7 he is not here. He is risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in, with you in Galilee, the Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the day be raised again. On the third day be raised again. This was an angel talking to the women who found the empty tomb. The, he not only came back, he predicted he would come back. I mean, come on. Um, and, and, and just like the crucifixion, everyone knew he was alive again. The women told the disciples. The disciples told the people, and the people told other people. And it was kind of like a game of telephone. But with this, the message was so clear. Jesus was alive. And the wonderful thing about that is that it applies to us too. 1 Thessalonians 4:14 4, For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring Jesus will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. That verse right there, that that means hope. That brings hope. We, we know by the example of Jesus' death and resurrection that God has power not only over life, but death as well. With this verse, we know that as long as we believe that that's true, we too can be resurrected. Because Jesus is coming back once more. 
The only thing we have to do is believe in him. Believe that he lived, that he died. And believe he is coming back once again. Let's pray. Dear Jesus God, I just want to thank you for coming to this earth. Thank you for dying for our sins and for living again. We know that without you, we can't do anything. But as long as we believe in you, we can rise once again when you come back. We love you. And we pray in your name. Amen. What an amazing thought. Jesus overcame death so that we could live. And it's as simple as accepting him as our savior. Tonight, I wanna to invite you to do that if you haven't already. Maybe you have and maybe it's time for a recommitment. Maybe you're wondering what it looks like to commit your life to Jesus and to, to follow after this great teacher who is more than just that. Well, if you've got questions, we want to invite you to the Wednesday night session, 7 p.m. this Wednesday night for a live Q&A session with Juiza and a couple, of, a couple other of our pastors. We'd also invite you to send us a message. We'd love to hear from you how these messages are impacting you. And again, remember, please like and share, and we'll see you tomorrow.